Hey, what's happening, Nation? It's Joe Q. I want to take a look at the defensive line tonight. I feel like we've lost a considerable amount of depth off of this defensive line, but at the same time, I feel like we've made a considerable step forward with the actual starters that we will have across that defensive line. It's just a matter of when these guys get hurt or we get into some of these rotational packages. It's not looking as strong as it did last year, and I'm not going to lie, I'm still pissed off about losing Solomon Thomas. And now there's talks about not picking up Farrell's fifth-year option, and I'm telling you guys, he's one of the stronger depth pieces that we have on this defensive line as it stands right now. But Graham has come out. He's been talking about running that 4-2-5 package, so we're probably going to end up keeping four defensive tackles and then five defensive ends. So you guys know how we do it. We're going to make some cuts tonight. If you are new to the channel, if you think about subbing up, I really would appreciate that. But we are going to jump straight into this. We have six defensive ends, six defensive tackles. We need to cut two defensive tackles. And we need to cut one defensive end. With all the talk of not picking up Farrell's fifth year option, it would be the easiest move just to cut him off because Green, Bauer, Chandler Jones, Crosby, and Koontz all have the pretty much same exact body type and they all have the same similar style of play. They're extremely fast off the edges. They can all get to the quarterback, but they also all lack the ability to play inside and out. And that is something that Farrell does bring to the table. Plus Jerry Green and Koontz, for as much as I love both those dudes, are completely unproven at this point. I would not be shocked at all if we took our third round pick and went defensive end. So you cut Farrell, you bring in a new defensive end, and then Koontz, Bauer, and Green are all fighting for that spot. What I honestly think is going to happen is that we will not pick up Farrell's fifth year option, but we will restructure his contract and he will remain on this team. The person I think we are going to end up seeing being cut is Jerry Green. For as much as I like that dude, hopefully he'll land on the practice squad, which is pretty much where he's been riding for us. But I think he's going to end up being the odd man out because I really want to see Koontz get a legitimate shot. So Jerry, I'm sorry, but back to the practice squad you go. And then we have our five defensive linemen. Plus we draft one in the third round and our defensive end rotation is set to go into this next season. But I'm telling you, if Crosby or Jones goes down for an extended period of time, it's going to be a shit show for a minute. Unless one of those three dudes on the back end is really able to step up and fill one of those roles. And those are big ass shoes to fill. Something tells me Koontz would be able to do it, but until I see it with my own two eyes on a regular play-to-play -play basis, I'm not completely sold on it. Same thing goes for Farrell, and Bauer has to completely prove himself to me. Then let's move into the defensive tackles. If Graham wants to run a 4-2-5, which honestly looks sick, I have that shit drawn up. It'll be in the next video over the next day or two. But we're going to need two strong defensive tackles. I really think that Nichols and Billings are going to be our starting two. I really like that combo in the middle of our defensive line. And I think Hankins is going to stick around just because he is that big run stuff in defensive tackle. So then it comes down to Butler, Vickers, and Pecco. And we have to cut two of those guys. And this has been an incredibly tough choice for me. I've been going back and forth on it all night. As much as I hate to say it because he's one of my favorite players on their defensive line, I think Kendall Vickers is going to end up being the odd man out, which completely sucks. This is one of those situations where I really wish I was wrong, but I really don't think I'm going to be. So he's going to end up being our first cut. Well, then it comes down to Butler versus Petco. This is going to be one of the off-season, training camp, preseason battles that you have to watch. I honestly have no idea how it's going to shake out, but if I had to lean right now towards one of these two guys, I'm going to say that Butler ends up winning the job. And Pecco ends up getting cut in our last round to cut us down to 53. I really think this could end up going either way. But as the roster sits right now, he's the one getting shrunk down. So there you have it, Nation. This is the defensive line I would bring into the 2022 season. You got Crosby, you got Jones, you got Koontz, you got Bauer, you got Farrell, and you have a rookie of your choice in that third round. And then the defensive tackles, you have Butler, Hankins, Nichols, and Billings. I really think that's a pretty solid defensive tackle rotation. Those defensive ends kind of scare the shit out of me. So let me know your opinions on it. I really appreciate y'all checking out another one. Definitely hit me up and let me know your thoughts. If you can click that like on the way out, it really does help me out. But until next time, I'm Joe Koo, and we will catch you on the next one.